I like to do a tech tip or a demo. So uh, I was banging my head. I was like, okay, what can the tech tip or demo be? What can it be? What can it be? And I decided to just revisit an old one that I used to give out to people years and years ago, which is uh, the tech tip. How can you verify encryption on your wireless network or access point? So lots of people have wireless access points and Wi-Fi access points. Uh, I used to do war driving all the time, if you guys have ever heard of that. And these are basically some tools that you could use to do war driving or do site surveys of signal strength, uh, all that sort of stuff. But uh, basically, the tools that I recommend are on a Windows box run NetStumbler. That's N-E-T-S-T-U-M-B-L-E-R. You can acquire that from NetStumbler.com. This program can, uh, I grabbed a little segment of verbiage here. Uh, this program uh, can come in handy if you're using a wireless WAN and you don't have signal or it's not working properly, i.e. if you can't get into it because you have encryption uh, turned off or on and you don't know uh, what's going on and that sort of thing. Uh, the tool can also allow you to detect you know, your neighbor's access point. So if you wanted to like optimize your... Uh, your uh, access point and make sure that it wasn't in interfering with other signals in your territory or something like that. There's the NetStumbler logo. But uh, so that's for still doing like a site survey to find out if you have poor coverage in your area, if it's signal strength, if your signal's dropping, coming in and out. It will also tell you if you have web encryption turned on and all that. So in the show notes, I'll have a, a link for you can download. Uh, NetStumbler. I went to NetStumbler.com and it seemed like they didn't have the download available. But NetStumbler is an awesome tool for looking to see if you have encryption turned on on your wireless access point. So that's for uh, that's for um, a Windows-based platform. And then on a, a Mac platform, what you'd want to run is a program called MacStumbler. That's M-A-C-S-T-U-M-B-L-E-R. And that can be acquired right there at MacStumbler.com, uh, very much like NetStumbler, just MacStumbler. And it's also a very similar program. There's a screenshot of what it will do. It will, again, tell you what channel your access point is running on, whether you're uh, on uh, what type of access point, the MAC address of your access point, uh, the signal strength, uh, and it will show you any of your neighboring uh, access point signals. So you can use this to kind of optimize your uh, environment. The idea used to be rule of thumb on a Wi-Fi access point or wireless access point is to have five channels of separation. So if you're running on channel one and your neighbor's running on channel three and someone else is on channel seven, uh, you know, it might be hard to get separation. But if you're running on channel three and you got someone next to you on channel five, you might want to change yours up to channel 11 to have greater uh, channel separation to avoid the potential interference. Uh, you might also, some people have been able to do this, if you have a 2.4 gigahertz cordless phone, you might be able to adjust it to a different signal and uh, eliminate interference from a cordless phone or a microwave even, you know, or a lot of cases, uh, we're, now we're getting outside of this topic a little bit, but uh, if you, you might be able to use this tool to just monitor your access point and see, oh shoot, when I turn on my microwave, I lose my connection, you know, because you can see the signal strength drop down and... Uh, and all that. So it, it's an awesome tool, both of these. I've used MacStumbler a little bit, but I've used NetStumbler an awful lot, and it's very handy uh, for positioning your access point in your house to make sure that you had it in a good place so you could get coverage to all four walls or all four corners of your house. Great tool for that. Um, uh, I can't say enough good things about NetStumbler. Now, there's lots of commercial applications that you can use for, for other things. Here's another advantage. You could use uh, NetSumber to potentially find a rogue access point, you know. And then there's things that run on top of this, not on top of NetSumber, but run over and above this stuff. Things like Air Snort, which could help you uh, decrypt a web key for an access point. So say you, you lost your web key and you don't want to reconfigure all the computers, you'd rather uh, decode your web key. So there's a program called Air Snort that you can get that will allow you to decode your uh, wireless equivalent protocol, the web key uh, that your access point runs on. Unless you're using something like WPA uh, or WPA2, then uh, you're going to have a hard time decoding that and you're, you're better off just resetting it and uh, going.
going back off to your workstations. But uh, uh, so that being that, uh, how you can check out your uh, verify that you have encryption on your wireless access point. Use NetStumbler on your Windows-based PC, or use Mac Stumbler on your Mac, and uh, you can check it out. Great for doing site surveys. So, uh, so let's move into the uh, last segment of this show, which is uh, general talk and discussion.